Hi there crafty friends. My name is Miranda and I have been painting on glass for around 35 years. I use a number of brands of paint, one of which I've been using for over 30 years now is Gallery Glass by Plaid. Recently it's been rebranded and re-released and a number of people have been quite dissatisfied with the new bottles. So here is a quick tip that I hope might help you. Now in, in the beginning the leading and the paint came in these bottles. And then, um, a lot of you would know, the paint changed to these bottles. But the leading remained in these bottles. And now, of course, with the new version and the complete overhaul of the logo, etc., the paint is now coming in these bottles and so is the leading. So I'm not talking about the paint just at the moment, just talking about the leading because a lot of people are unhappy with using the letting out of these bottles. So I get that. I totally get that. It's very different. There are reasons to not like it, but also there's a couple of reasons to like it. This bottle is a thinner plastic. See how squishy that is there? You can see how easy that is to push. Now the original bottles, they're a harder, thicker plastic, and they are harder to push. So when you're pushing on these, now a lot of people, if they're if you're used to doing this and you've been doing it a while, you would have built up the muscle, muscles in your arm and in your wrist. But if you're new and you're using these bottles, it's gonna take a little bit more pressure and you'll get tired a lot quicker than you would in these bottles because it's much softer, so it's an easier use. But it's the tips that people are having issues with. Now, I'll just take this off here and show you. The tip here, this is a harder plastic than what we used to, right? And I, I think there's been a suggestion to cut this tip. That's okay if you're going to be using all of the bottle pretty quickly. But the reason that I would caution against cutting that tip is because the only way that this is sealed is by this cap. And if you can see, I'm not sure if your camera can pick it up, but if you see the seal only happens when the tip gets right up in there right if you can see that there or not maybe not but if you were to cut that then if you cut that down here and make this a thicker hole that's not going to seal when you put the lid back on so if you're going to do that that's fine but I would then suggest that you wrap this in some painters tape or something to seal that because the seal will not happen once you put the lid back on if you cut this tip so that's one, one little issue about cutting that. The other issue is for those that are using the thinner lines, using the tape technique, and I can show you here on this bottle, we get our magic tape, tape it on, roll it around, and now you've created a much thinner, finer point right here to work with and of course if you want it a little bit bigger you can snip off the end right easy peasy however that's not as easy to achieve on this because there's not as much of a space here it's not as wide and it won't wrap as well but here's the quick and easy tip for you if we simply remove the caps if you have one of these bottles obviously switch them switch them and now you are good to go you can use this just like you normally would with this bottle it fits and it works no problem now the problem is going to come in here of course if you don't have any of these left if you do if you've been using it for a while you've still got some uh, some of these paint bottles left save those tips you'll be able to put them on the new bottles and you're good to go if you don't have these don't worry, there are other brands of product that you may have in your craft supplies already that use these tips. There are other products that come in these similar bot bottles that use these tips and you may have some already that you can just take off and save for next time. If not, take a look around, see what you've got in your craft supplies. You might find other products such as this. This lid will also fit. Now I'm not done with my glue here but and I, I, I'm not saying this would necessarily be the best tip to use, but oops, I've done it crooked. Obviously do it straight. But you can see that that fits. So there are other lids and other tips that do fit. So if you don't like the tip that comes on these, and I understand that, it's easy enough to simply 
replace with these if you have them and keep your eye out for these on other products if you don't and then you'll just be able to save them to use on these. I hope that helps. I almost forgot to mention, you can also buy these tips or empty bottles containing these tips. They are called Yorker tips and they're available from various places. So just do a search for bottle with Yorker spout cap or Yorker tip and you should find a number of options. These tips will last for years, so don't feel like you need to hold um, a ton of them. Just having a couple on hand will be fine.